Nate, again, you are here taking up the mantle and the burden of helping me with a top five list because we completely forgot to do top five worst side missions in Spider-Man for I PS4. Everyone was waiting. Oh, everybody was waiting. They were hounding me in the yep. DMs. I saw people show up outside of my place of residence. Wow, you know, just showing up. Intense. Yeah, really, just picketing and waiting. And I, I would say that there were uh, borderline. There, uh, fights broke out. I mean, I thought that I was in danger, so I fled the scene. But yeah. we're now recording this from a remote bunker. And we are going to talk about the five worst side missions in this game. The first one is one that you pointed out. That is the car chase random events. These, I definitely count the random events as a side mission because isn't a side mission by definition essentially any activity you can uh, you can get involved in outside of the main story that I you think so, yeah. need to complete? And there's a bunch of them. Uh, there's, oh, there's like infinite. There's too many of them. Yeah. <laughs> so I think this one's on the list because these sucked. Yeah. Now, I will say they were fun for like the first two or three. Yeah. But then after that, it's it just so repetitive. That's a big complaint I've seen about this game is that those random events and crimes that you stop are boring. And I kind of agree yeah. with that, actually. Well, it's because there's nothing different about them. No. Like they, for example, the car chase, it's the same thing over and over. You just jump on the hood of the car. Someone hops out one of the sides. You jump over, take them out, hop up to the hood, hop on the other side, take that person out. Yeah. Stop the car. Boom. There you go. Yeah, it's it's really repetitive. Oh, let's do it five more times in this area and then go do it another five in a different area. No, no, no. Like, no let's, just, let's please not. <laughs> it's really boring. It really is. Really repetitive. There's what, no creativity. And what you said, too, about having to do it a certain amount of times, you can say, well, you can skip those... Uh, those trophies and stuff like that but there are objectives in the game to do a certain amount of these random events in each district and if you ignore those you don't get some xp right. you don't get those challenges completed and you don't get the trophy for it so i mean it's incentivized in different ways to do this it's not it's this, not just a trophy yeah this isn't just something you're going out of your way for a little a reward that says hey i spent time on this game there's a lot of things tied to these things and I also think, too, that there's no thought put into these at all. Like you said, it's so repetitive that there's nothing different. Yeah. And there's never any personality to them. Yeah, it would have been cool if they just had it in once or twice. Yeah, or but, infrequently. Right. Because really, this game needed about double the amount of random events, like yeah. in terms of the variety. Right. And even if this was in here just as much, you know, it was just cycled out for different things, I think this would have been more enjoyable. So the next one we have to talk about is TikTok, not the hit app the where hit I app go to look at thoughts. I mean, funny, uh, funny jokes and memes Definitely like funny Vine, jokes. not thoughts at all. Uh, not that, but actually the mission where you're helping track down college students. Now, I got to be honest with you. I did not review the top five best ones that I did before making this. We kind of ran out of time today. I think that I mentioned some of these in terms of being fun missions. TikTok itself is not it's really boring and uninteresting. It's the same as all the others. It is just hunting down corrupted students and corrupted friends of the dude, bringing them back by borderline, giving them CTE and brain damage. Yeah, like Batman whenever he sees a jaywalker. Yeah, just taking them down, <laughs> yeah. breaking their knees. Yeah, essentially, that's all it is. And it's something that you do so many times. Yeah. So many times. I don't know. It, it yeah, becomes... there's probably like five or six, seven, eight of them. I don't remember. There's not quite that many, but they are. Well, I don't know. They're how much so there long. Is. It felt like it... there's so much. Oh, it, they're so it's long. Just... It feels like there's 20. Yeah, it's just boring. Yeah. Again, it's another one like the car chase where it's like one of them, two of them. Great. Yeah. But when it gets to be more than that, it just got so boring. Yeah. And kind of well, uninteresting. And that's sad because I still would mark Spider-Man on the PS4 as one of the better superhero games made and also one of the best exclusive games of the last generation. Yeah, exactly. So it's sad to see little things like this that could be better. I think that's worth pointing out that we love this game. Uh, these are just things that really did not click for us for different right. gameplay design reasons. Bacteria Buddies is another one. This is just obnoxious and boring. <laughs> yeah. It's very tedious. You essentially are trying to uh, test out these bacteria that break down plastic and trash to prevent pollution. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not like dogging on the message or anything. I don't really care. But the problem with it is that it handicaps the player in a lot of different ways. It makes it so you can't swing normally in this mission. You have to go about your movements in a certain way that don't feel like Spider-Man. Yeah, like you, you can only, 
So you can't swing, right? But you can do the what's the one the called? Web zip. Yeah, you can do that randomly. Yes. So it's my thing was, how come the bacteria or the whatever it is the stuff that you're having to yes. go over the bacteria, how come that affects the web swing but not the web zip? Yeah. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. Well, and they try to explain and, away things like that, but it's very clearly just artificial difficulty placed on the player yeah. to get you to move slowly. Exactly. Which it's, is boring. Yeah, and they also put them so far away that it takes you like 10 minutes to get there. You know what this reminds me of, by the way? We never wrote this down, but I have something to bring up. This reminds me of those old missions in Assassin's Creed where you follow <laughs> a guy and talk yeah. to him yeah. for like 10 minutes. You know, and it was a whole mission. So it'd be, hey, walk with me, Ezio. And you'd follow him and talk to him. Yeah. And it was just to slow down the player without having to show a cutscene. Right. That's what this reminds me of, is it's such a tacked on uh, tactic, I guess, <laughs> to slow you down and get you to just take your time that it doesn't feel organic at all. It's just very artificial. Yeah. Or also those other missions where you had to follow people. Yeah. And they took like 15 screen. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, That's true. It, those were fun at first, yeah. and then you're like, ugh. Yeah, they got really old. Yeah, this was kind of the same thing. I also think the network is down was a really boring mission. It's one that when I brought up, we didn't even even remember actually off the, off the top of our heads. We had to look yeah. back at it. It's that forgettable. I think one of the big things, and you pointed this out to me in a different game, so I don't remember what that was about, but it's it's the same point here. It's very frustrating in a game where you spend all this time doing something and then they undo it in one mission or 10 seconds and say, okay, now you go take care of that. Yeah. That's what they do in this. You spend all that time getting the entire crime network up and actually bringing up these towers again and helping the city out and then it's down. It's yeah. like, hey, you go take care of it now. Yeah, it's very annoying. Again, it's just a arbitrary <laughs> right. slowdown mission placed on the player. It was very clearly filler. I don't understand why this was in here. And I think this really makes Spider-Man out to be an errand boy. Yeah, exactly. Which he shouldn't be. It's like, hey, Spider-Man, go fix our network. Like, well, what does Spider-Man know about your random network? Well, yeah, and, and they'll say, oh, well, you know, you were hacking into the network. I'll look the other way on it if you help fix it. But... What I don't understand is, okay, so you're intelligent enough to tell that Spider-Man is hacking <laughs> yeah. your network, but you're not intelligent enough to go fix it yourself. <laughs> well, and also, why can't they fix their own network? It's their own network. Yeah. Why is it up in the first place if you don't even know how to use it? I don't know. <laughs> like... A lot of things really don't make sense. I mean, this was very clearly the vantage point, again, from Assassin's Creed, the viewpoints to set up the map. Yeah. But the problem is that it wasn't well thought out, and so what ends up happening is it just becomes this tedious thing that you have to do that after the first few times of doing those towers is also kind of meh. And then you're going back to keep it up, and that's even more meh. Right. So what is our final one, Nate? It's probably one of our least favorite side missions. Uh, favorite. In the game. Um, favorite, oh, definitely. Oh. This is one of the best okay. side missions in any video game. Okay. Uh, internet famous. All right, and who does that involve? Uh, Screwball. Oh, that's that character that's Riddler but better, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, Riddler actually ripped off Screwball. Oh! Screwball okay, was made sense. before Riddler. Does it, do you think there's anyone who likes Screwball no. more than Riddler? I yes. bet there's one guy out there. I bet there's there. one person. There's one guy out there. He's sitting in like, his mom's basement with like a neck beard. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have an up beard. Oh, so <laughs> screwball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, screwball. So these are, again, really repetitive. I think that is a big point in this whole video. Yeah. Wouldn't you say that a lot of these, I mean, obviously bacteria buddies is one thing because that's just kind of its own thing. A lot of these we don't really find very strong at all because they're either a turn on its head of something you already did 50 times or a continuation of it. Right. And I think screwball is the epitome of that because you you do these missions then you have to go around doing so many little side mission challenges they're just boring yeah exactly and then it all just comes down to being a fake thing at the end yeah like it's so disappointing oh yeah and it's so uneventful it's also so hey internet kids we're hip and we understand the internet yeah, exactly. Have you noticed that? Because it's it very much like, hey, woo, we're live streaming here. And it was like very <laughs> clearly on, supposed to be on Twitch or something. Yeah. Hey, we're live streaming here and we've got $50 donations from Chad. Oh, Chad, you want to meet up? Well, I'm with Spidey right now. And it, it was so cringe. Yeah. It was the cringiest thing ever. And then you know what's worse? 
I suppose this is a different thing, but it's also a continuation of this. This comes back in the DLC, in every DLC, <laughs> every single one, they just push this home. I don't know if they knew that it was annoying and they did it to troll, or if they actually thought people liked this, but either way, it was such a misstep and made yeah. the parts of this game so boring. I, I don't know what the thought process was here. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know why they did some of these and thought people would have fun doing 50 car chases or have fun following around Screwball. No. Or have fun doing like the network is down, running around fixing networks all the time. And I, no. I don't know what the thought process was. I, I honestly some think some of it was seeing Batman and saying, oh, people like all these side activities in Arkham. We just need side activities without putting as much thought into what they are. Yeah. Because as as triggered as people get about me mentioning Arkham with this, they've even admitted that it was a source of inspiration for them. That they right. were looking at other games on the market and superhero games and what they did right and wrong and, you know, sort of just kind of gauging that to make their game. So they obviously were looking at one of the biggest superhero games of all time. Right. When they did this too. So I don't know. It, it's frustrating. I think though that they will have learned from this since this Hopefully. was one of the big criticisms of this game and Insomniac seems to listen to people and want to make their product better every time. So I'm excited to see uh, both Miles Morales and the ultimate sequel whenever that will happen. Uh, we know that eventually there will be a, another Peter Parker game. We just don't know when. So hey, let us know what you think in the comments down below. What are your favorite and your least favorite side missions in this game? What do you think about the side missions and side activities in general? Be sure to check out the links in the description. As always, we've got the Let's Play channel where Nate, T, and I are hanging out, playing different games, having a good time. We've got Patreon, Reddit, Discord, Twitter, Instagram. All the socials are down there, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day, and stay shway.